right. Good morning. Welcome to the 43rd Ryder Cup. We're going to go straight across the way to Rishi number four. John, congratulations. Three down after three. How big a performance was it, therefore, to win three and one? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we didn't have our best swings on those first five holes. You know, um, it seemed like if one of us made a good shot, the other one just didn't have his best stuff. Uh, and even then, I mean, you know, they made two good birdies in one and two. Uh, you don't always lose those holes making pars. Uh, so, yeah, we got down, down quickly. But if, it ever any, if ever in match play you're going to get down at some point and be three down, might as well be three to three holes because you have 15 holes to make up. And, and we were fully aware of that. We know momentum changes like that. And with that birdie on six, that tie on seven, I think, started shifting our way. And uh, when Sergio made that putt on eight, you could feel it was changing a little bit, right? So, um, you know, from six on, we played some wonderful golf and, and it showed. Let's go to Jason on two. Well, that match had a little bit of everything. John, what was the mindset for you and Sergio when you were three down and you started to make that comeback a little bit? Did you say anything to him? Did he say anything to you? How did you guys come together to, to mount that comeback? I mean, we're both fully aware of what we're capable of, right? And yesterday, I made a lot of putts, and Sergio might have not had his best day. And today, he had a great day starting on six, right? So we both were aware that at some point, we were going to get a break, and they, they weren't. At some point, we were going to have our opportunity. We just had to take advantage of it, right? And I think, um, I think for me, it started on seven. For him, that putt on eight was the difference maker. You could tell. Uh, hit a good putt on seven, just didn't get it there. He made that dead center. He was celebrating before he even got to the hole. And, you know, that's always a huge confidence boost. And, you know, when you follow up for him with a chip in and then that great chip on 10, and then I start hitting good shots after he hits good shots, you know, that just keeps the ball rolling. And and that's how we, we were able to um, to keep it going. Um, you know, we've, we support each other all throughout. And even in the bad times, we're making each other smile. And I think that was the, the biggest part of it. Okay, we're going to wrap it up with a question in Spanish, John. Yeah, lo, lo mejor de la ronda de hoy de jugar con Sergio y la aportación española a los puntos, ¿no? Que está siendo la mayoría. Entonces. Sí, una semana dura parece para el equipo, pero bueno, todavía esto no ha acabado y queda mucho. Esperemos que que mejore la cosa. Eh, y sí, hijo, la verdad que jugar con Sergio es todo un sueño. Eh, es mucho, hay mucha expectativa, ¿no? Cuando dos españoles juegan juntos, por obviamente la historia que han tenido con la raíz de Sebe y Chema. Eh, y bueno, de momento ahí la seguimos eh, remontando, ayer jugando muy bien, así que a ver si, si podemos seguir así y, y jugar así de bien y terminar ganando más puntos esta semana los dos. Eh, sí, él sigue batiendo récords y yo empezando mi carrera, así que ya ves, eh, contrarios, básicamente polos contrarios a, a cada uno, pero, pero divertido, la verdad que nos lo estamos pasando muy bien, eh, aunque las cosas vayan bien o mal, ¿no? y, y eso se nota. John, thanks for making time for us. Thank you.